We back at it again. As y'all can see, we got a different face. My boy KT, you know what I'm saying? These are the boys, the ISO boys featuring KT. And this week, we're gonna have, we got a good episode, man. I'm Dylan Walton. That's my boy Q. I'm not saying this whole government because I ain't the feds. But uh, we got a good one today. We got a real good one today. Uh, we going to hit the Warriors. They lose the streak. 0-5 on the road. It's crazy. Defending champs 0-5 on the road is crazy. We got the anti-Semitic Nets and Kyrie Irving. We got the contending Cavs. Donovan Mitchell looks like baby D-Wade. No cap. We got Kawhi, you know, playing Casper, you know, missing six, seven games at a time. And we got Russ coming off the bench in the Lakers. And then we're going to end it out with a little fun today. And we're going to do the all-time teams where we're going to pick two from each uh, position, and we're going to pick a head coach, and we're going to pick uh, some jerseys to go with it. But before we get into it, we are we're not going to start at this episode, but next episode, we're trying to go get some some like sports betting projections in type so we, you know, we, we can hit that and see what they hit. Because I ain't going to lie, we're going to do it. We're going to make some bread too. You know what I'm saying? We, we're trying to go all the way. But – I got a little bet slip today. I, I put it in the description or something if y'all want to. Well, ain't nobody going to have my bet slip. But I'll let y'all know if I won, though, no cap. Because I get $230? $230. So well, here we go, though. Here we go. So, KT, you know, do what you do, bro. Uh, Q, you already know how this goes. But we're going we gonna to kick it off with the Warriors, man. 0-5 on the road. Uh, the The – yeah, zero and six. Yeah, the core group can't get it done. The young rooks can't get it done. I love Wiseman to death, but he seemed like he's struggling. But which is a good sign, though. Which is a good sign. He hasn't played a lot of basketball and he's struggling. But zero and six on the road on the east east side of the United States. Q, I'm gonna let you go first, Doc. How you? <sighs> how you he's, feeling? He's shocking, but it's it's really the. The, I think the, the uh, veteran core doing their part because they play, they do great when they in Steph, Clay, Wiggins, Draymond, and Looney. The young folks still find a way. The only one I think that's really secured himself so far has been Moody, because yeah, he been the only ones really doing so. Because like I look at why, like you said, it's good he's struggling because he remember he only played three games in Memphis, so it's like it's gonna take some time, especially with the Warriors because they big man, they known for you know being you know underrated pass, you know with Bogey Lee. Uh, was Bia Lisa. They had and, so and JaVale, it still takes JaVale some time. was decent too. Yeah. So it's like he got to learn just the little things. And then he got to get better just picking up on little stuff. Like defensively, he'd be late. And I remember one play, he's playing the Magic. And uh, Steph had called him the screen and he had screen. Screen. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, it's just little thing like this. It was like, Kurt just going to have to figure it out. They're going to have to figure it out somehow, some way. What you think? And Cole, you just feel free to jump in on that. Ain't no take turns raising hands. This ain't third grade. I'm get your class. <laughs> but uh, what you think about? Well, what y'all think about Kerr saying rotations are going to be changed? What 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 you think is going to be different? Is is it less rookie time? More bit like more Jermichael Green? More they don't have another big on the roster now that I think about it. You might so more have- Jermichael Green. You might have to, but it's like down the line. Like, what, who did they recently play? Who did they lose? The Pelicans one? I, I see the Pelicans yeah, last night. Pelicans. Yeah, like by ten to get the yeah. So if the the young guys only gonna get better when they get their feet wet. So it's like they gonna have to step up. And when games like when stepping them out, they gonna have to prove themselves. So it's like I don't know. The veterans might get more time, but it's like you can't be stressing them this early in the season. Have them still play yeah. thirty. 40 minutes. They're going to have to get their feet wet because down the line, they're going to need to come through. They're going to have to come yeah. through. KT? I'm just saying. I, I've i told y'all this, like, off camera. <laughs> the Warriors are not, and I and I, I know Steph Curry is Steph Curry. Clay is Clay. Draymond is Draymond. Outside of that core three, or it may be Andrew Wiggins, they don't say, have. Hey, yeah, I'm not gonna forget him because he he's playing. Well, pool, best. pool him, pool. He not, he may not be shooting well, but pool is still him. No, he's not bad, <laughs> but he's not winning. Like he's not going to help them win right now. 
They need James Wiseman. There's no other way to put it. You, you. This is no what count. you brought him for. This is what you selected him for. You got him to come in and do the dirty work to learn from Draymond Green. If he ain't doing that, why is he here? And I understand you. You go so long without playing, so you have to come back and get acclimated into the system and everything. But come on, he was it towards the end of his run. Like, of course, he was him in Memphis, but he, he in the preseason. Y'all got hype because what was he doing in the preseason? He was terrorizing folks, but he was terrorizing little boys. Now he playing grown men, and we see what's happening. They weren't supposed to beat the Lakers game one. Let's keep it a buck. They were shaky that game. They shot terrible. Only thing that saved them that Lakers game is with the Y'all Lakers. Y'all not shot shooting at all. Ten percent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't shoot ten percent against the Warriors from the three and expect to win. I don't care how bad they playing. But when they started playing these tougher teams, these teams that are young, can run and shoot, we see the problem. We see it. I don't, I don't necessarily not, see he, the problem because they they are in every game. It ain't like they getting molly walked. It's the it's the small things. It's the things that Gary Payton did when you need a when you on the eight zero run and to to just you know put the knife at they you know jugular. J- Gary Payton would get a steal. Otto Porter would hit a corner three, or Otto Porter, you know, pump fake, throw it up to Wiggs, and Wiggs dunk on somebody. Like I don't see them having no momentum plays all season. I ain't really seen no no runs, no big defensive runs, or no big offensive runs. And then, uh, then it's a dagger in the middle of a run. You know, that's how you solidify yeah, a run when you when you going on a run and then boom, a, a knockdown, a four point play or or Wiggins dunking on somebody, or, or Steph dropping somebody, or Clay going four for four. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't see okay. that nothing. And, and you tweaking okay. on Jane Wyman, no cap. I'm you not. Okay, listen, listen, listen here for me. The Pelican game. That's the most recent game they played. One fourteen, nine five, final four. You know what I'm saying? But it was a close James game. Wiseman. It was a close game until mm-hmm. what, James last Wiseman four minutes? played seventeen yeah. minutes. Okay. 17 minutes, he gave you one for one field goal, six rebounds, five points, two assists, three fouls, right? For a player that was drafted high in the draft like that, that's unacceptable. He was minus three. He's coming, he's coming off injury. But he's healthy. He's, I under, you know I the Warriors are that. cautious with their players. I understand that, but he still plays 17 minutes, minutes, which is a decent amount of time. For him yeah, to be – what what did he, he get drafted? Good. Number two, number three? No, two. He has to do better if they want to win for real. I guarantee you if he plays better, they win this game because he's supposed to start. This is supposed to be their starter center. He's supposed to be their AD. Th- that's who he should should be trying to aspire to be. A better Anthony Davis, more healthy, because can't get right, just won't get right. You know what I'm saying? Chill, chill on AD. And you know what? If he don't get better, just like you were saying, Cole, they might have go get Dwight. If he don't get do Dwight, if if, if nobody from... if nobody wants to get Dwight, the Warriors should do it for learning purposes only. Even if you don't want to play him heavy minutes, you don't want to sign him to real money. Get him to teach James Wiseman what it is to be a big man because that's who he was. Dwight Howard was a legendary big man. I don't care well, how you the play. big man of the yeah, 2010s. He's the big man of the 2010s. I know you got your MBs or your youngest. Those are more skilled big men. When it comes to posting up, dunking, rebounding, defending, Oops. Dwight yeah. Howard was him. That's who James Wiseman can be. And James Wiseman has a little jumper on him. He he can yeah. throw that in there. He can space the floor. He can get the ball to you. But he has to have somebody to teach him that. Who, who is it? Draymond? Draymond? Draymond can't Draymond. teach him that because Draymond is not his size. And he, might, he can only get him so far. Dwight can get him all the way there. People talk a lot about Dwight. But he can get him there. And that's the only reason the Warriors should go get him. But my learning purpose. But my thing is, I don't think you let James go. It's impossible to let him go. No, you don't if let him he, go. 
because he this is his fourth next year be his fourth year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last year he was hurt, and the year before that was his rookie year, right? Am I mistaken? What draft this class is you third... coming to with Lamelo and all of them? Was that twenty? I... I think so, because this Lamelo's contract year, and if they came in same year, this is yeah contract extension, yeah. So if they picked up the fourth year, the next year is his fourth year. So this is third year. He's only played fifty NBA games, all right? And he hasn't played basketball for real, for real since high school. So. He's just as raw as Kaminga, but he's better than Kaminga, if that makes sense. So this year is his oh, – let's, mm. let's, let's run through it. Next year is the year you see him. He is better than Kaminga. Maybe he's more Kaminga, talented. But Kaminga, as a male, Kaminga don't know his middle finger between his index finger. I promise God. Okay, you're tripping. <clears throat> Moody is him. They love. I love Moses Moody. I love Moses Moody. He he can do it all. He can shoot the ball. He can attack. He know when to swing the ball. He don't get it and dribble off the rip. He's not doing that weak spin move. Come in, I don't know how to do one move. You know how to do it, some weak spin move and and mess up the whole momentum. But he young, so I ain't going to talk too much. Better, I'm not going to lie to you. That, that, that spin move got them 7 and 12 from field goal for him. He can play basketball. He can. Wiseman. If you say so. Played half the minutes and didn't play as good. And I'm not expecting James Wiseman to get 30, 10, and 5. I'm not expecting him to be on you know, Jokic anything, you know what I'm saying? But I expect yeah. him 10 and 10 should be a starting point for him. He should be. I need, I need 10 and 8. 10. I need 10 and 8. He can get 10 rebounds. 10, 10 8 and 7, 2 blocks 10, in 20 11. minutes. He can do 10 and 8 and 10, 8 and 2 blocks in 20 minutes. Okay. I got a question for y'all. Do y'all think the Draymond and Jordan Poole situation? I and I and I said IQ, I know we talked about this first second of the episode. We wasn't gonna talk about it no more. But now I'm starting to see. Do you think it's just the young people, the young, the young rooks, young two, three year uh players, are they just not understanding, or do you think it's a different aura around the team? With that situation it's still, different. maybe it's still kind of looming. I don't think they settled it. And I'm just, I'm speaking 100% honest. I don't think that was settled. And I'm speaking as, like, from a grown man, another grown man comes and punch you in your face. And I know this is your job, but you expect me to go on the floor, spend 82 games on the road with this man, and we just supposed to let that slide? That messes up with your team chemistry. I don't care what Steve Kerr say, because it messed up their chemistry in the 90s. When Jordan punched the But they Kirk, won the championship, though. They won, but it still affected their chemistry. That's something, as a coach, you got to handle. And that's something, as a man, Jordan Poole and Draymond has to handle. Q. Oh, I think it might be both. I mean, because don't get me wrong. Like like you said, Cole, it's just it, it, it's the different aura. But it's like, look, let's be real. They ain't never going to be on the same page again. Just straightforward, mm-hmm. but on the court you go, you can't let that affect it. I think with the young guys again, it's just like getting their feet with because it's like the Warriors system is simple, but the way you know we all see it is simple. But they young and it's they ain't com- used to all that complicated. Yeah. yeah, so it's like the reps they getting in the practice. They didn't realize the season, so the practice reps they getting in. Some days they might just be filming, watching film. Some days they might be on the road relaxing. So it's like. It's, it's championship rust. They really are struggling, and it's going to take some time. It, it happens to every championship right. team. So it's going to take some time, but they got to figure it out sooner than later because they're going to need these young guys down the line if they want to keep this, you know, dynasty rolling. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll be good because Clay had a good game uh, against the Magic. He finally found a shooting stroke. He had like 20, 27, 25, if I'm not mistaken. So that's that's a good sign. That's a positive you can take. From this 0 and 6 trip, that your your second best player, fourth, third, or whatever you want to rank him, he's found his groove again. So that's a positive you can take. But you know, how many how many more positives is going to outweigh all these negatives? You know what I'm saying? But with the West being so deep, 
it's a lot of teams that got superstars, but it's one superstar we ain't seen since like October 22nd, and that's Kawhi Leonard. Um, I'm going to speak on this for one because I want John Wall to get a ring. Kawhi Leonard needs to play basketball. Jamal Murray and Kawhi tore their ACL, what, barely a, a two months apart, a month and a half apart from each other? Yeah. Why is Jamal Murray playing more games than Kawhi Leonard? I don't understand that. Kawhi Leonard has not played, what, in a week and a half? And I understand you got to manage it. And he the king of load managing. He's the king. He created load managing. He created that. That it, If he wasn't in the league, that probably wouldn't be a, a, a real thing. I don't understand why he's not playing basketball. And I, we was all talking about this last night in the party. You can't get better or get in basketball shape without playing basketball. Y'all was talking about saving them for the playoffs. I understand the beginning of the season. Maybe do what, what they do with Clay. And uh, when Clay came back last year, play 15, 20 minutes a night and just don't play back to backs. And then, or when you got three games in five days, don't play that last game. Don't just have him sit out consecutive games. He's the knee is never going to be in shape if you if you're not playing actual competitive in the moment basketball. You got John Wall playing. You got half of the team. They they literally mixing. Uh, you got Team A, which is the all the cold folks. Then you got Team B, which is the bench and the cold folks. Then you got Team C, with the cold folks and the rookies. You can't have three separate sets of teams playing different sets of games. You don't have no real cohesiveness. And I trust Ty Lue. And, and you know, it's Ty Lue. But they gotta they gotta do better. I don't I don't like the fact that Kawhi is just sitting there on the bench in street clothes. Uh, uh, yeah. I ain't seen I mean, that. Yeah. I ain't he, seen that. you know, yeah, he is frustrated because it's like when they were beginning the trip, he wanted to play, and the daughter just told him, "No, nah, it's not best for you." So it's like, you know, it's it's a tough time. And you know, we saw it happen last time with Spurs how that led to him and them having issues. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and then going to Toronto for a year, they're gonna force him out of there. That that's really what's gonna happen. They that's don't true. Play it is. Because it's not him at this point. He's you know, Kawhi is not a big talker, but he's came out and said he wants to play. It's them telling him that he shouldn't play. If he feel fine, let him go. Let him go who? Yeah, it's like you said, you just put him on. Star, uh, you don't want your star player to get hurt, obviously. But like Dylan said, it, the only way you can get in basketball shape is by playing basketball. We see it with AD now. He playing through back injuries. When has he ever played through an injury? Let's be real. <laughs> He's sitting there holding his back, but what is he doing? Getting back on defense, <laughs> making blocks. He might hold his back for 20 minutes after, but he going to go back and get the ball. He might hold it the whole second half. But, I'm he trying saying, to but he's going to play. I think sometimes you just got to play through those pains and nicks to get to where you was. Look, you said it. Jamal Murray is back hooping. He just did a reverse dunk on three people after tearing his ACL or whatever he did to his leg. That's not normal. But how is he doing this? How is he getting there? By playing. And he's playing heavy minutes. And he's been restricted. He's on restricted yeah. minutes right now. And he's still playing decent minutes. How many minutes did he play against the, what was it, the Thunder two nights ago? Let me go look. Let me go see Jamal. Because I don't know about the Thunder, but I know like the Lakers game, they played him. They they sat him in the fourth quarter yeah. when they probably needed him most. They were like, no, sit down. We're not going to risk you over the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's a respectable team, we're not going to do that. But there, y'all, y'all have seen him fold. Yeah. He played 33 minutes. Exactly. They're starting to build him back up, but they say he's on restricted minutes. That's what the coaches say. And also, while we on this of injury, uh, Michael Porter Jr. I've been keeping on Michael Porter Jr. since he played 
uh, in Tim Gray when he was in the Pangos tournament. Uh, he'd been dealing with back issues since his senior year of high school. And, you know, they always say Michael Porter, the Clippers didn't draft him because they, they thought uh, he would never be able to play basketball, you know, consistently with his back. And he's been playing 30 minutes a night off of supposedly never being able to play basketball again consistently. He's been playing 30 minutes a night shooting. He, he shot 40% from the field and 50% from uh, the three. He had 11 points. But Aaron Gordon had 27 Jamal Murray had 24. See, Jokic had 15. See, that's why I ain't bet Jokic get 20 points tonight. I would have lost money. But he had 15 points. And I, I, I'm i trying to get $200. I ain't even count. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Michael Porter Jr. is playing good. I think he's 49% from the three, 46 that from the field goal. That's that actually bad. great for somebody coming back off injury. And, and to right. be honest, the, the Nuggets healthy, that's a legit threat. Jokic by himself was never enough, despite him being MVP. But now when you get Jamal Murray, MPJ back, your bench looking good, y- y'all can push. They they developing, uh, what's his name? What's his name? He a young dude. Bones. Bones Holland. They, they got him. He hasn't played. Great. I, I don't see him. I think he had a back him. injury, too. He he injured right now, and it's it's okay. been coach's decision not to play him. Okay, but it's well, somebody I mean, else young they got going. Not Brown, Brown, but Bruce Brown is <laughs> Bruce Brown is him. He been him. That's them next days. Yeah, but he, uh, he's playing great. Yeah, man, I just ain't sitting right with Kawhi, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. It ain't it ain't too much to say about him because he, we ain't got nothing to say because we can't see him on the court. So, yeah, exactly. but, yeah, but Paul George is looking good though. But I'm, I really really want to talk about uh, the Nets, man. It's a lot. They got so many different segments you can put with them, and you know, uh, me and Q being sports majors, and uh, you know. Core is uh, criminal justice, political science, all that good stuff with the law <laughs> uh, and all the cultures and religions. So we got a good – I think we got a mixed insight of uh, everything with the Nets. So I'm going to hit Kyrie later. I'm going to start with the basketball part, and we can just lead into the religion and all that. Uh, Q, we, we have been talking about this. When did he get fired? Tuesday? Steve Nash got fired Tuesday, right? Yeah. So after they won, yeah, yeah after they won, I, weren't they one and one with with Vaughn with Jock whatever his name is Jock Vaughn yeah, they Most one and one go and then beat Washington last yeah night. yeah they, they destroyed Washington last night. So basketball wise, what do you see that's different from Steve Nash and uh, Vaughn? Uh, to be honest, I don't see much. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I don't. Cause, but the biggest thing with them is when Nas was there, if you look defensively, they always was the bottom tier. They best defensive year was their second year. They was 20. And it's like, no matter who you bring in, I shouldn't have to tell you. Like, well, we all play 2K. I don't have to tell you to play defense. I don't have to tell you to rebound. You know, you got to go out there. If I had to, if I got to tell you to do your job, you don't need to be here. And that was Nas' problem. He wasn't bitching for Like, literally, what was it? The game they played in Chicago. Kyrie was playing crappy because he only made a point to the fourth quarter. And Vaughn had him sitting down majority of the game. That's something Nash wasn't willing to do. So defensively, I think, you know, he's making more, you know, tougher decisions than Nash didn't make. But, he, but you know, he's been there for the longest. He's been the main one that you thought would have had the job after they lost, what was it, Kenny Agerson? So it's like. He's been there since, at least I know, tw- since Kyrie and Katie got there, or well, since they yeah. signed there in 2019. He was the runner for the job. He was a favorite to get a job for Nash came in. So it's like. I don't see them. Like, last night, they didn't. They did good, but it was really because Kevin Durant had to put the team on his back and say, look, we got to get through this. We got to get through this struggle right now. And that's they promise. The outside noise is getting in their head too much. And Kyrie yeah. doesn't make it any better. He I don't, don't. Okay, we might as well jump into Kyrie since you brought him up. I don't think. I, I didn't mean. He, it's cool. It's cool. I, it's just the fact that. 
he has to understand as a man, I know it's hard to, you know, st- you know, stand up for yourself, but the, all, at the same time, also, you got to understand your wins and your losses and what battles to fight and what battles you, you just need to shut up and, you know, just let it be. He's, he, he's taking everything as a challenge, as a battle. Some is challenging his intellect. And by any means, stand up for yourself. But at the same time, you are the most controversial player in the NBA. At the same time, it's your contract year. And at the same time, you're trying to win a championship. At the same time, your head coach is not is in the uh is on the high seat. Now he's fired. At the same time, you're trying to get Ben Simmons back right. And with all this, you know, this this whirlwind, this whirlpool of negativity surrounding you, that's not getting Ben Simmons mental right. That's not putting the team in the right headspace. That's not doing none of that. So Kyrie, take certain battles. Do I think this battle here with the the anti-Semitic, is that his fault? No way. It's not his fault at all. And I know he's not anti-Semitic or whatever, racist, whatever you want to put it. It's just, he would, Joe, was it the, 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 was it the owner, the majority owner, wherever he is? Joe Joe Sy. He started that. I don't care what nobody said. Nobody would have knew if Kyrie posted that if Joe Side didn't tweet what he tweeted. Because he posted that movie, what, two days before the tweet. I mean, two days before, yeah, two days before Joe Side's tweet. So if you didn't bring it up that day, why are you bringing it up 48 hours later? They say it's a famous rule. If nobody remembers it 72 hours later, what's the point of talking about it? He did that for a reason. They, but Kyrie, really, Kyrie gone after this year. He gone. Yeah. I'm not – even with Kyrie and, you know, the thing going on with Kanye, I don't necessarily want to say if I agree or not with what they're saying. But it, as a – Looking at it from as a sports aspect, like as a profession, it's a time and place for everything. We we grew up on that. It's a time and place for everything. I know you you he believes he has to be a role model. He has to speak up whenever he feels something is going on. Certain things as a professional NBA player, as a public figure who has millions of people looking up to him. You can't say in public. You can't put on your story. You can't speak out on. And it's not to limit you, but to prevent noises and to have all these accusations and everything else put on you. You have to understand that you can't say everything. I know for a fact LeBron has wanted to say so many things in his career, but he couldn't because he understood who he was. But if anything, person, if anything, I would rather him said it in the off season. Say it in the off season. It. Give us something to talk about yeah. in the off season. And it's a distraction uh, off the court. And then by the time season started, blows over. But why why say it at all? Just keep it to yourself. Discuss it in your personal circle. Everything yeah, do we discuss everything we say in out in the public? No. no. Because that's not what you do. If anything, Kyrie needs to start a podcast. If he honestly, if he wants to be this outspoken, do it. Do it. No cap. Because that gives you your own platform. Can't nobody limit you to what you say. And you really get to explain what you mean. Yeah. Because a lot of times Kyrie says stuff, but people take it and spin it to what they want it to mean. But then he comes out and says what it actually means, and it's too late. Because he wasted way to speak up. And then you got narratives being pushed and everything else. So Kyrie, as of now, just needs to be quiet and let this blow yeah. over. He need to shut the hell up and play basketball. I'm sorry. Not shut up and dribble. Not like the white lady yeah. told him to run. But just let's just shut up. Let's let's get everybody out the media for a week or two. Let's just hoop. Let's come in and do what we wanted to do. And let's all this extra all this extra noise and BS, bro, it's not worth it right now. This, let's just yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hear the. 
Q, do you watch the the games with the with the media talking, with the sports announcers talking? Yeah. Q, I mean not Q, but Cole, do you? Yeah. So y'all probably well, I don't I I know you don't watch watch a lot of Nets games, Cole. But Q, if if you listen every time the Nets play, they not talking about basketball. Mm-mm. They not talking about basketball, and that's annoying. That's annoying to hear that all the time. Where you talk about this, you talk about this, or you talk about that, you talk about that. Like, dude, at the end of the day, you only got these jobs because of these players. Let's talk about basketball. I mean, I understand, you know, you know, bits and pieces of other life stuff and whatnot because you got to mm-hmm. talk for two, three hours. But at the end of the day, it's about basketball. But that's on the association too. They should have rules to say when you are on film when it's live television talk about what's going on in the game even with other teams they don't speak on the basketball they they it's always the drummer i understand drummer drives numbers and television all that drummer pushes numbers so to keep it up and brewing is smart in a numbers aspect but me as a fan and as a viewer i don't want to hear that and I don't mean to take shut up and dribble or shut up and ball. You have your First Amendment. We got to understand, and they do no too. Cap. They have the First Amendment as NBA players to say what they want to say when they feel like saying it. But that does not mean there are not consequences when you say certain things. I just learned that. You know what I'm saying? There, there are consequences when you say certain things to certain people as a public figure. And Kyrie has to understand it. Simple as that. Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, Q, you just seen the message we got? What? I'm on. What is it? Uh, it came through on my computer. That's the only reason. In our group chat, Tyler said Bucks are going eighty two and zero. They are the only undefeated team. They're not going. Well, not they're not going to eighty two and zero. He all on the journey anyway. Yeah, they need they need Middleton to go eighty two and zero. But uh, the game last night though, they uh, Q, how much did you watch of it? The Nets, some of it. In the like, Wizards, I I watched the first half. I just that's all I watched was the first half because I knew the game was over, and I watched a bits and pieces of the third quarter. Not gonna lie to you. That's the reason why I got this number seven jersey. Hold on, I'm gonna grab it so everybody can see. I'm gonna oh, grab Lord. it so everybody can see. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say this: Katie's not on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on, dog. I got this jersey for a reason. I got the jersey. I'm gonna put it on back so you know who name on it, just in case. Just in just in case you don't really know. We Where gonna, you get it from? Get, uh, the the store, the the NBA store, fanatics. Got the or NBA store. I come the jersey like that. Yeah, now they got sponsors. I ain't giving nobody no free promo to you sponsor. Yeah, sponsored by the, the NBA. Reason, yeah, this the reason why the Nets even got some breathing room right now. That, that is a hundred percent true. That's true. I'm not even gonna hold you. Average thirty two points a game. You can't hate them. Ain't no can't hate them. You're not gonna hate them. But, I mean, the, it, but it's bad you have to have, like, him doing that. It don't even feel like he's doing it, you know? You yeah, have to go out there and force feed, like, putting the team on. But he playing, for his age, he's playing 38 minutes. You saw what happened the first year when he had to do all that and he got tired when the postseason came. You don't want that. Yeah, I want him to go and be aggressive. Need. Yeah, you don't need that. I want him getting 30, but I don't want him killing himself to get 30. Yeah. And, and look, he said, if I'm playing basketball, leave me out there to die. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave him out here to die. Because if it's anybody, I'm gonna put hand, I'm gonna put the ball in. I'm not putting LeBron James. I'm not putting in Russell Westbrook. I'm not putting Kevin Irving. I'm not putting in Michael Jordan. I'm not putting in Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas. I'm putting in six ten Jesus Christ himself on the basketball court. Kevin Durant from Washington, DC. Ain't nobody else you. hands I'm putting in. This is the best player on earth. One on one, two v two, three v three, four v four, five v five, seven on seven. We can put a we can put a flag football team out there. This is the real reason. 
You seen the cue last night. He dropped <laughs> Daniel Gafford to the earth himself. <laughs> he made that man kiss the ground in his own home. You seen his face on the ground. That might hit the ground. He said, <laughs> you seen it. Y'all seen it. I seen it. You want to know but- why? Him. Number seven. Seven from him. Okay, heaven. okay, bro. Listen, now, now that you mentioned that, Jeff, because you brought his name up, I just want to say something. For, and this works both ways. I think it's great for both teams. Give me the Russ and Kyrie trade. Sounds crazy. Do it. Because you know what I know? If if Westbrook go to uh Brooklyn, he's going to get the ball. He's going to run point, and KD going to rock with him heavy. I don't need – KD needs somebody who is available. What you tell me all yesterday – Best ability is availability. My nigga gonna play 82 games. My nigga gonna play 82 games. And you see he averaged at 18, 6, and 6 off the bench on 50, what, 6, 53? I ain't gonna lie. He might be averaging 20 now because the last yeah, three games, last I think he game, got 20. 28 off the bench. Get, you put that with KD, and I guarantee you, with the shooters they got around them, them boys run a gun. And, oh, and my nigga's a top two defensive point guard in the league right now. Top 13 defensive player in the league right now. And that's a guard. It ain't but two guards in the top 13. Russ, one of them. I'm just leaving it at that. Make the trade. Hey, hey, Rob Palenka, you sorry to make the trade. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, boy. You ain't wrong. I know. Cause I ain't but one person to know how to deal with Kyrie, and that's LeBron, and it's that simple. And both teams benefit. So the way they're going, it might just have to. So Kyrie future being done, just go and move. And if you have to move them, you want to get KD somebody. Shit that he's comfortable with and that can really produce. Cause you don't want to lose Kyrie for some fucking side players who not gonna give you good production. Now if you trade now it's it's hard though, because again, but all that baggage he bring, it's only really yeah. two teams I see. It's either LA or Dallas. So it's like Yeah. And Dallas nobody, ain't doing it. Yeah, nobody he nobody wants to touch him right now. That they even if they say, hey, we'll just give you a box of cookies for them. Nah. nah. <laughs> a box of thin men. <laughs> exactly. Nah, you can keep them. We don't want that baggage. Nah, nobody wants Kyrie baggage right but now. He, but he's back to the same part as we were last last offseason. Nobody wanted, when he wanted to leave, he was going to take the five that. million or nobody wanted. Yeah, so you back to square one. If you want your 46 million, like they just said, just do your job, man, and pick yeah, your you battles put, the right one. You, yeah, you gotta play their game in order to get what you want, and that's as sad as it is. You, you, that's that's you life, want. though. It is. Yeah, that's life. You gotta, you gotta play the world's game, and I'm not gonna say the white man's game because it's it's more intricate than that. And like in this, yeah. we gonna get a little off basketball, but we just gonna hit life for like a couple minutes. In life, you gotta fit to society some type of way, and, and even being in in a profession. So, so media driven and so narrative driven, you really got to play that, that life game where, yes, you want to be, you want to be the big cojone, you want the big man, you don't run around, but you can't because you say the one, one wrong thing, you black, you blackballed and you blackmail. Look at, look at Cap. They did Cap like that. Uh, 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 not necessarily, but he went against, he went against, you know, the most now, political thing, and they put him out. Uh, Jackson Mahomes, you know, and Patrick Mahomes, little brother. They almost tried. They tried to cancel Patrick Mahomes for his little brother doing TikToks and saying something about the LGBTQ uh, community, whatever. Like, bro, you go against society nowadays. No matter you a golfer, tennis player, swimmer, uh, a skier, snowboarder, it don't matter. You say the one wrong thing, bro. Society, they don't care who you are. But that comes from everybody being soft. And and I know what you That's mean facts. about playing the game of life. You have to be able to manipulate it. You yeah. you I, I don't 
you I'm not telling nobody to go around, you know, cruise and just feed into a system, manipulate it to get ahead. You have to understand it and play it to understand the plot holes and loopholes to get through to be where you want to be. Kyrie just out here saying anything. Understand the winning. Yeah, no cap. He just out here doing what he wants to. He's not playing this very smart. But you know somebody that did? LeBron. People don't give him credit, but that Miami move was smart as hell. He played his cards right into the bitter end. And what did he get out of it? Two rings? Yeah. The Miami, yeah, that's true. But but it all bans Renette, too, is like the decision. You knew the moment he was going on TV. Ain't no way he making a decision like that going back, saying I'm going back to he Cleveland. Going, yeah. He going, so I'm going to Miami. And if he did, that's a real marketing move. Yeah. But he did. I, that was a good point, though, because he not going on national TV in the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. Yeah. To say I'm coming back to Cleveland. Uh, Shouldn't have went back but, anyway, uh, but We got two more. <laughs> we got two more to hit before we call it call it an episode. So far, so good. Hang on, we killing it. We killing it. The Cavs, Donovan Mitchell, DG, Evan Mobley, Big J A, and whoever you want to throw at the third. You want to throw Curtis Levert or Curro, Dean Wade. Nasty. Uh, what's the other one? Osman. Whoever you want to throw at the three spot. The Cavs, man. man. What they seven yeah. and one, six and one? Seven and one. Best shooting team in the league. Best, best team. Best team in the league. Yeah, best team. I know you got your books who undefeated, but boy, I'm taking the cat Cavs. That's I mean. What okay. Q, cause you watched the Celtics and Cavs game. I only watched the first quarter. Y'all, I'm sorry, it's been a busy week for me. It's been a real weird, busy week for me. I didn't get to watch as much basketball as I really wanted to. But tell me about the game because it went to overtime. The Celtics. Okay. Tell uh, me what. Tell me what you remember from the game and how it went. It, it was it's, it was back and forth the whole game. It was the Cavs got it was so many calls that the refs missed biggest that was for the smack one of them at one point. But it was it was a good game, you know. Let me say. About close to overtime, Donovan just took over. He had the D-Wade 06 type performance. Just step bags, uh, tagging the lane, everything. Garland was scoring, Mobile, they all were scoring. They was playing a good game, but I like how they flow together. Garland can eat, then Mitchell eat, then Levert eat, the Mobile. It's like it's just a great pick. They play great ball, then they play great team defense, and then you got the Viz like Love and Levert Rubio, and it's just a great team overall. And, no doubt. And from this and from the Celtics, so even though they took a one point loss, uh, who played the Knicks tonight? Just to tell you, they get twenty They messed up because little I forgot it was play. I think Mitchell missed a shot, and there was literally like three seconds left. And Jalen Brown was going to throw up a heave and not call a timeout. And then the play they drew up was to get Jalen Brown, but which is a good look, but he missed. So it's like it's the little things like that. But to win the game or to go to win, overtime to win the game. That was in, that, in overtime. Yeah, yeah the, he ended up missing. It was a turnaround jump. Yeah, he missed. Yeah, it. I I went back and rewatched it, and Jason Tatum just got to play better. He played better, but they they get too game. much. There's not to go on top, but they get too much in the ISO again. The Boston, yeah. it's too much Brown and Tatum. Tatum. They, you know, Broad and Eden, uh, Horford Eden. Why it's just going back to reverting the same habits, and that's what happens when yeah. you lose your your coach that's on you for that. You know, Joe Mazzulli, yeah, you got did. him. He got him. He did go eight for twenty-one, two for nine from the three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And Jalen Brown had thirty, ten or twenty-six, three or ten. And that's got a balance. You can't have one or the other going off like that. And I think that's why they are going back to more so ISO play because, in all honesty, they've been a two-ended sword. Like they've been slicing through people, and they still are a great defensive team, which they've always been. But they are maintaining it. It's just in moments like that, they still young, but they gotta understand you gotta get your teammates involved. When when you're not hitting shots, Jason Taylor gotta understand. Let me get somebody else a shot. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because for me, for me, it's him complaining. That's the part I have the problem with. Because it's a lot of time he complained too much. Nah, that's facts. Like he, he, he you just tell from his body language, he'll throw a game off off of one missed call that just you know. 
He's starting to play like yeah, a boomer. I'm looking at it now. Hauser, the shooter, uh, oh for one, he only had one shot. You gotta you gotta get your certified shooter more than one shot. Yeah, you gotta get him in the ball. Uh, Orford had 11 attempts. Smart had 12 attempts. Derek White had four attempts. Brogdon had 11 attempts. Uh, Grant Williams had six. Everybody else, uh, Tatum and Brown had 21 and 26. And that's um, what I like about the Cavs. Yeah, the, yeah, the even shot distribution. Mm-hmm. They moved the ball, looking, yeah, and everybody get their spot. Mitchell had 27. Darius Garland had 20, 11, uh, 11 from Jerry Allen, 8 from Mobley. Oh, he only missed one shot, and that was a 3 in the free throw. Uh, Curtis LeVert went 4 for 12. Kevin Love had 10. Dean Wade had 7. Osmond had 3. But Curl only played 8 minutes, and he didn't take a shot. <clears throat> but I don't know why they starting LeVert, though. Me neither, I, but that's, you know, that's that's the biggest thing I've said, you know, just – I guess they want to have five people on the floor that can put the ball in their hands and do something. So, right. But as as a starting lineup, I don't right. think that's good. Yeah. Because I mean, it... Levert can't guard Tatum. He can't guard Brown. Okoro should be the point of attack defender, hit corner three. Because your offense can work. When you got Darius Garland and Donovan Mitchell and you have a lob threat and Jerry Allen and you have a, 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 a baby AD in Evan Mobley, who can who can who can do all of that? You can you can flow with uh, Isaac Okoro in the corners, or you, know, you know, cutting down the lane or whatnot, or whatnot. Or or he can even be he can he can be the roller. He can be a Bruce Brown. He can sit in that free throw line. And you can put Evan Mobley in the corner. That way, now Okoro gets the ball. Now he's your decision maker when it, when you in when you in um uh, and in, in the paint restricted area type offense. Now you can throw you can throw the oop to Allen. You can float it, you can kick to the corner, and you can set a flare screen to the corner for Mobley, and then you can sit right back in the corner. Then you can have DG coming coming downhill or a Spider coming downhill. They're going to leave a curl in the corner regardless. Out of everybody, he's going to be the only one wide open on the corner, knock down the corner three. That's all you got to do. We ain't asking you to go, you know, shoot half course and bring the ball to the court. Knock down the corner three. And yeah. if that's all you got to do, play defense, knock down a corner three, if you can make two threes or three threes a night, straight corner threes, and you get about five, six attempts, the, the defense is going to play you honorable. Now you're giving your team wide open lanes. And you play great defense. You play great defense. That's three point. That's an extra three, four, five, six points a game off steals and loose balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I <laughs> hey, what, what they, 71? Fix them, yeah, so like, ain't broke. Don't fix it. So it's working right now. So yeah, it's working right now. It is. So I can't. Can't know, be mad. Can't be bigger staff. All right, coach of the year right now. Yeah, and they and they play the Lakers Sunday. So that that's gonna be a real test to who they are though, because the Lakers are not teams. a team. Yeah, the Lakers are not a team. You just walking over. I know a lot of people like to talk trash. But when you got when you top three defensive in all categories defensive, you coming in with a hedge, and they got to get right, and they know they have to get right. So they gonna have a chip on their shoulder. This the I'm Cavs are a young team. Utah. Yeah, the, the Cavs are a young team, and they finna have to face some grown men, and it's gonna show <laughs> if they like it or not. And I'm just being real. I'm being real. Now you you now, on the topic? Let's they, get into it. They have, they have the Cavs have bigs and they can maneuver them differently because of the Lakers, you know, no bigs on the roster. They don't fit on the roster. You know what I'm saying? They they don't have nobody to guard Evan Molly and Jerry Allen at the same time. AD can only do so much and he's by himself. Who you gonna have? Westbrook? Now don't get me wrong. He played good defense against um, Zion and he Uh, did decent against Gobert. So but I'm not opposed so to it, but he can only do so much. So much. Man. And when AD not on the court, who are you going to rely on? And we talked about Dwight earlier. The Lakers are another was, team who could use him. But also another could, team, should. I forgot to say this early, the Celtics could also use him while Robert Williams yeah. is gone. 
Yeah, it, they chose some Blake. Those are the three Bamba. teams that can that need the White Howard. But the Lakers. Mo Bamba too. Mo Bamba is up for uh he might be in trade rumors come come deadline. Hasn't he been so. playing good though? But they yeah, but long term. Yeah, no long term he ain't gonna be in their plans. Because he really wants to be back mm-hmm. this year, so they just paid him so he could yeah. actually have a good contract. So. Okay. But yeah, the the Cavs are a legit threat. They're young and scary as hell. You know, I've been a Darius Garland fan, but Donovan Mitchell, he that's a true that's a, right that, now. Yeah. He MVP front runner might be him. I know Ja playing his ass off, Luca playing his ass off, but Luka that boy is, Darius Garland. And, I mean, and we didn't even talk about the 76ers. I didn't even think about that with James mm-hmm. Harden out for a month. I ain't, mm-hmm. even, I ain't even think about that. They just mm. – the Cavs might own the East. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's them and the Bucks, And I it's ain't going to lie. Book. I'm taking the Cavs. I was, the I'm dip. taking the Cavs in six. I'm taking Cavs. I'm not cutting off the Celtics just yet, but though they're not on the level of the Cavs and the Bucks right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, they can get there. Jason Tatum is very capable. We've seen it last year in the playoffs. He's very fucking capable. But nah, the Cavs got it right now. Yeah, they do. They do. That, that's how you construct a team, Rob Palenka. But anyway. Respect. <laughs> no cap. But uh, all right. This is the last one. We're going to round it out right here, fellas. All-time teams. Two at each spot. Uh. And it's positionless. So if you want to put, you know, Braun at the one or whatever, right? But this is how we going to do it, though. No repeat players. So we can't choose the same players. Yeah. So if somebody take Braun, can't nobody else take Braun. That's how we going to make it good. (laughs) And if you want to make a trade, make a trade. Okay. Okay. All right. But you only get two trades. Okay. Two trades, so pick your team, this, and this is how we gonna do it, right? Pick a number one through ten, right? And I'm gonna do a random number generator, right? And closest number go first, you know, you know, basically, right? So, all right, somebody, whoever want to go first, start their number off first. I do six. Six. I was, I was gonna say six, but just I go seven. Six, seven. We'll go three. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Ah. Okay. You had seven, core? Yeah. So me and you got to go because we the number was five, so Q was first. We got to see who goes second. So we're going to pick a number between one and five, Cool, Go. Four. I'm going to do two. Oh, I get the second pick. <laughs> it's like 2K Fantasy all over again. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we so doing – you doing one at a time the whole team. No, nah, one at a time. We're going to go – we just – we're going to do point guards first. So we're going to do both point guards. Now, you know, we'll do starting five first, then we'll do bench. But everybody go. So you'll go your point guard. I'll go mine. Core go here. Then we'll core pick okay. his point. If, if you don't want to trade or – we'll trade after the starting five. You can We can mix and match a trade after the starting five. Okay. Right. Point. So with the first pick, go ahead. It's Bron. It's Bron the PG. Okay. Bron at the point. So Bron is off the board. All right, y'all know who I'm going with. Yeah, y'all know no, who I'm going yeah. with. At the three, give me one and only seven from heaven, 35 from the corner store down the street, 35 premium gas, 3-5, Kevin Durant. In that case, I might as well grab the big boy, the one and only number 23, this side, Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Dope. Okay. All right. That's my two. Okay. That's your two. Uh, let me see. 
Give me Kobe. Put Kobe okay. in my Ooh, two. Okay. Kobe to two. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Kobe at your two. Give me, give me Magic Johnson. I knew that would come. Mm. Okay. Well, my point I got an guard, idea at the end. Okay. My point guard gonna be the revolutionary sniper, the boy that changed the game. Number thirty. <laughs> give me Stephen Curry. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Ooh, okay, I got LeBron, Kobe, Big, Kareem. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go different. Give me a two guard. Give me Paul George. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to go center. And this is a tough one, but I'm going to take the most dominant center to ever touch a basketball <laughs> No, I want that coming. big boy, Shaquille O'Neal. Big Diesel. Big Diesel. Big Diesel. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, give me a king. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to go big. I'm going to go center. Give me. Give me Will. Mm. Give me Will. At the five. Well, at the four, I'm going to take the greatest four to ever do it. Cam Duncan. I'm taking uh, Timmy. I was going to take Tim. I okay. need a three. Oh, yeah. Larry Bird. Larry Legend. Dang it. <laughs> my next one. Okay. Okay. And my four, I'm going to go Anthony Davis. Now, you know what? Now, I'm going to keep AD. I'm going to keep AD. I'm going to keep AD. Who can I get at the three? Give me Kawhi. Give I me figured. Kawhi. All right. All right. Okay. 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 So, now with the bench. With the bench. You want to keep the oil or you want to switch it? Now, we keep the oil. Okay. Uh, oil. Bench. going to be my six, man. going to be my six, man. Who this to? I'm gonna lie. Dang, uh, you know what? Let's do this. Give me Scottie Pippen. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. Cool. Give me Scottie. Oh, okay. I go second. Ah. Let me get. Ooh, that threw me off because I was picking up Scotty right here. I had to think, yeah. Okay. You know what? Give me Clay Thompson. Prime Clay. Give me Prime Clay. I don't know. Somebody already got Elijah one, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Just because Please. I want somebody who can come in and get nasty. Oh, I'm going to take Dirk as my six man. Give me Dirk Great off pick. the bench. Great give pick. Me, give, give me Dirk off the bench. Great pick. Uh, okay, next. Oh, yeah. Need another dominant center. Give me Bill Russell. 11 Damn. Right. Okay. Okay. I can live with that. Respectable. I can live Respectable. with that. Uh, another point guard. I want another point guard. Give me, you know, uh, I'm gonna go Penny. Penny, okay, okay. I do want to go, go ahead and come off the board before anybody else say it. But my Ooh. point guard coming off the bench, I want that boy AI. Oh, Iverson. <laughs> That's okay. a good one. All right, I'm up next. Okay, since we take a back of point guard, I'm gonna go and get my boy the big O. Oscar Robinson. Okay. Ooh. Respectful. Okay. All right. I'm third. Okay. I'm off the bench. Let me get T Mac. Damn. Thinking okay. that too. Okay. I want to wait. If oh, that's yeah. the case. 
I'm gonna go small forward and I'm gonna take Paul Pierce. I was Paul thinking Pierce. I was thinking that. I'm gonna okay. take Paul Pierce off the bench as my small okay. forward. Okay. You know what? To counter that, because I'm I want size. Give me Giannis. Damn. Oh! This nigga read him up playbook. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I'm thinking like 2K That's fantasy, tough. man. Shoot. I bet. I'm going to counter that. You you want to go Giannis? Give me the big ticket. Give me KG. Yeah, I was talking for the big Give me one for Giannis. That's two. Okay. In this case, give me David Robinson. I want the general. I'm, I'm going to back that up some defense. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring some defense. Okay. Okay. Dang, yeah, I hate yeah. you to T Mac. Ah, uh, okay. No, I think I'm missing one more. Okay. Yeah, everybody should have one more. Yeah. You know what? Dr. J. Ooh, I was thinking him too. Okay. I need you. Damn. Damn. Oh, it's me? Yeah, it's it's on you. Okay. Last pick. Last pick. I'm going to go... Prime Superman, Dwight Howard. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get, because I need some shooting, I'm going to take the original sniper. Give me Reggie Miller. I mm. want Reggie Miller. I want Reggie Miller as my two coming off the bench. And you know what? Since we got all our entire team, we should put this on 2K. No cap. We have a battle with it. No, no way, no care. I would be down. We could do that tonight. You got to no, battle. We could. And, then, battle, and that battle could be the, the first video. Channel. Yeah. yeah. That could be the first video. All right, how about this? We add, we get, you know, we got to have, just in case somebody get injured, you get two extra picks. Two, two so extra cute. picks. Yeah. Two extra picks. Okay. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I won't. So, I ain't this tough. Yeah, you go first. Give me, you know what? I do need another score. I need that big boy, Carmelo Anthony. Oh, my God. That was literally my pick. <laughs> hey, hey, Dylan, who you going to go? Who you going to? Oh, I got mine. I got mine. So I know who I want. Oh, my God. I got a thing. No, I don't know. <laughs> if, if you ain't ready, I can go. No, nah, I'm going to let you keep it. Come, uh, come on. Uh, I know exactly who I want. Oh, I think I know, but I don't let him think. I know exactly who I want. All right, I need another. I need another point guard who can actually score because Penny and Magic are both. You know, I got scores and shooters, but I need somebody who can do both and pass the ball. My point guard is going to be. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Give me Dane. Okay. Go well, since nobody said say it, I'm gonna say take that boy from Miami, the Flash. Give me D Wade as my backup too. Ain't nobody took that nigga. I'm I thought D-Wade. about him too. Thought about him too. Okay. I got one more. Man, that was gonna be my pick too. Oh, 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 oh. you know what? Man, I don't know what this lad picked. Melo was a good pickup for me. Okay. Nah, that was a great pick. You know what? I'm going to go one more wing. Give me athleticism and scoring. Vince Sanity. Okay. Half man, half a man. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let me get at the four. I'm going to get another four. And I want Beautiful. Side. I want side. Give me, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. After this. You want to know something? I'm going to go stretch for it. Prime K Love. That's, that's nice. But um, I'm going to take that boy down in Denver. Give me the big Joker. That's going to be my, you know what I'm saying, back of five. Okay. I'm gonna take Joker. What's love? Right. Got coaches. Yeah, that's it. 
the coaches and then your, your, your jerseys. Oh, okay. Coach, you know what? Got to take a sticker. Damn. All right. Well, Got to. You know, if you're going to take her, I'm going to take who taught him and who he played for. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick a different coach. Give me Ty Lue. I had a feeling. I think I'm going to go Phil Jackson. I was going to go, but give me Ty Lue. I think I'm going to go Phil. No, 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 no. Give me Greg. Give me Pop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're going to play fundamental All right. basketball right All right. here. Give me... Give me a home jersey and an away jersey. Any jersey, all the time. Um, pick, they ain't got to be the same team. You can pick a different team for each jersey. Home and away, okay. I'm going to do home. Home, give me that Miami Heat, the white hot jump back in 2013. Ooh. It's a tough jersey. Oh, I got to Google something. Cool, you can actually go. I think... You know, just to represent the 901, I'm going to take them Vancouver Grizzly jerseys. You know, the light blue joints. Perfection. Uh, I think I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Raptors, the white with the dinosaur. Ooh. That Damn. shit nice. That, that shit is. nice. All right. Okay. Away. You know what? We got, we got to do it for from- Man of Buzz, 24, Black Mamba, t- Bubble, 2020, Ooh. Black and Gold. That, that, that is, is, that is tough. Okay. Oh, it's me? Yeah. yeah. And you know what? I'm going to go. It's two jerseys I'm thinking about. It's two jerseys. I really want to do. The Ray Allen Bucks jerseys. Oh yeah, purple jump. Mm-hmm. Or I can do the black version of your home jerseys. Oh oh, got about that. You know what? I'm gonna do the black since I already got a design. I'm gonna do some plain and some simple. I'm gonna do the black version of the 2013-14 heat jumps. The, the, the hey. black hot. I'm just called alternate, alternate black hot. My home jerseys. Since y'all already won, I'm, I want them. I want the jazz jersey, the purple joint with the mountains and oh, stuff. It's tough. I, I want that as my home. All right. So to end it off and end the episode, Q, we're just gonna go in the order we drafted. Say your team, point guard. You know, just say your whole team throughout. Oh, shoot. I didn't write that down. Ah, shoot. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, well, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll put it. I said, I don't remember either. I don't remember nobody. I did. I've been taking notes. But, yeah, what you had? You had uh, Bird, Braun, Vince Carter. Shoot, you did not have to say. You had oh. Bill Russell, Hakeem, and Kareem. He had a lot Carmelo. Yeah, a bunch of niggas. I ain't gonna lie. That's how I uh, sound about right. I know. It's okay. They gonna, they gonna see it on the game and channel. So. Yeah. yeah. I know You'll for see sure. I, I'm gonna go ahead and go and then call my let you go since you drafted. Yes. Anyway, sorry. I had Magic at the one, <laughs> PG at the two, KD at the three, AD at the four, Will at the five. That is disgusting. And then on the bench, I got. Penny at the one, Clay at the two, T Mac at the three, KG at the four, Dwight at the five, and then my sub two are Dame and K Love. Head coach is Ty Lu. Then I got the white Raptors dinosaur jerseys with the purple dinosaur. Then I got the alternate black heat, uh, all black heat with the white, with the white, uh, with the black letters and the white uh, trail. Cool. All right, all right. For my starters, you know what I'm saying? I had to take Steph Curry as my one. The GOAT at the two, you know, MJ. The Claw at the three, you know, best defensive player of all time against another, you know what I'm saying? Then I took Timmy D and Shaquille O'Neal, Big Diesel at the five. 
off the bench, I got AI coming in as my point. At the two, I want Reggie Miller. At the three, I got that boy Paul Pierce. At the four, I got Big Dirk. And at the five, off the bench, David Robinson. My two backups is Jokic and D Wade. You know what I'm saying? Coach Greg Pop. You know what I'm saying? Who Home gonna be Jones, your alternative? Let me ask that. Uh, the two K because Reggie Miller ain't in there. He not in two K. Oh, yeah, he's not. Yeah. So you you probably pick an alternative because he ain't in there. But that'd be your. Well, I just pick. put D Wade in off the bench for Reggie, and then probably my backup be Russ. You know, I gotta go with Mister okay. Triple Dogan himself. You know what I'm saying? And then home jersey, jazz, you know what I'm saying? Away, I had to take them boys in Memphis, Vancouver, on Grizzlies. All right. Well, we we'll definitely can do that in the next hour. Because I think get some food, take our shower, and we'll be back home. But send me episode. Yeah, send me teams. yeah we'll send that. Episode four? Yeah. Yeah, we it. lost episode two. Yeah, we lost episode two. So this is episode four. Special guest, my boy, Core KT. Thank you for chopping it up with us. You know, no problem. We had a man. great episode, Q. I think we, I think we build it. This is a good. This is a really good yeah. fourth episode. Really good fourth episode. So uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, we're getting bigger and better, and we're growing, man. And I can't wait. You know what the future holds for us, man. This is a really great episode. I had a lot of fun. Uh, and I can't wait, man. Next week, we're recording again. We hear it every week. We don't care. We do not care. If the NBA on, we on. And if they stop, we still on. We don't care. But we got more coming on, more chopping in. The NBA is getting, the NBA is getting crazier by the day. And hopefully, everybody pray for me. I get this best slip going in and I cash out on $230. But that's the ISO. You know, your boy D-Wall, your boy Q, special guest KT. We okay. getting out this joint. Another great episode in the books. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See y'all soon. Peace.